name's Susan Stryker, and I'm Paisley Cura, and we are the general editors of Transgender Studies Quarterly, TSQ. TSQ. Um, it's a, a new journal on transgender studies that we intend to, as we like to say, we want to change the conditions of knowledge production on uh, trans and gender variant issues worldwide. We want to move it more, um, move it away from sort of, you know, psychopathological ideas of transgender identity and really do a kind of a multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary journal that would, you know, have a, a, a wide readership. There's so much great work being done in trans studies in all these different disciplinary, interdisciplinary areas, but this journal is going to bring it together, and it, it's going to have a readership that really, you know, appreciate what we, the, what the journal brings together. Yeah, we, we're working with a really large editorial board. We've got 24, 25 people who, you know, we, we think of are some of the most exciting and best established uh, voices in the field of, of trans studies. Every issue of the journal is going to be a special issue on a particular theme, and part of our idea for like helping uh, transgender studies to grow as a field is to uh, try to reach you know new and different audiences with each issue. Who then people who might not think that the work that they do or the field that they work in has anything to do or say to or about transgender studies, uh, but by doing these special issues and working with um, you know, smaller editorial teams who have expertise right in that area that we really think we can, you know, grow, grow the field in uh, exciting and interesting new ways. So we're starting off our first issue, volume one, number one, is going to be uh, a big issue on keywords. Some of the other topics that we're looking at in the first few issues are, um, there's one issue on demography and epidemiology and population studies called Making Transgender Count. We're doing an arts and culture uh, special issue. Um, we're doing one on um, uh, sort of cross-cultural and transnational comparisons of gender. It's called, um, it's called Decolonizing the Transgender Imaginary. And every special, every issue is going to be a special issue edited by a team of editors from an editorial board and editors um, from outside the editorial board. So it's going to bring together the most creative, cutting edge people doing that work who are going to solicit and find the most creative, cutting edge work in that in that area. And sometimes in the special issues, we're going to publish kind of you know guides or bibliographies to the new area. Um, we'll also have yeah some of the the regular features we expect to show up in each issue. You know, of course we'll have, you know, book reviews and film reviews, but we also want to concentrate on new media because there's so much um, information that comes out on this topic only in the blogosphere. Um, so new media reviews, uh, we want to do uh, uh, work highlighting, say like, you know, a historical document or an interesting artifact that we can interpret, you know, uh, for our um, for our readership, we want opinion pieces, um, you know, particularly if there's some timely you know political issue that's developed, you know, that um, is controversial, you know, someone who can offer uh, informed commentary about that. As Paisley was saying, um, because this field is so interdisciplinary, you know, we we don't see everything in the field, you know, that we would like to see. So we want to. Um, I mean, just, you know, I'm a historian, Paisley's a political scientist, you know, I don't necessarily read stuff in archaeology or, you know, public health, and so we want to have part of the journal uh, in each issue be uh, just like a, you know, a briefly noted, you know, section of, you know, work coming out on trans topics in the widest, you know, possible imaginable range, range of topics. Well, we have, um, we've, we've got calls for papers for the first four issues the first two calls for papers are out and the next two are in the works. So the good thing is we're going to have a long time lag for some of these issues so people can look ahead a year or two and see where their piece would fit. Because the, the calls are written in broad enough ways to kind of uh, attract a you know, wide and diverse uh, group of papers. So we're hoping that people kind of be able to kind of map out where, where their submission would, would best fit. And uh, I think that will be a, a nice way for people to find a, find a publishing home. So we would just encourage anybody who has um, has an interest in trans issues to, um, you know, put together a proposal and send it to us.